Creative people always want to do something great, but what happens when great stops being good enough? When your larger-than-life ideas need something more than what a TV studio can offer, what do you do? How far are you willing to push yourself to do what you really want to do? You're watching Tuna No Crust, and we're going to look at Fast and Loud's Aaron Kaufman and what happened to the show he started after he left Gas Monkey Garage, shifting gears with Aaron Kaufman. Aaron Kaufman was born on January 26, 1982 in Crowley, Texas. From a young age, Aaron had a talent for taking things apart and reassembling them. His dad built hot rods and was passionate about motorsports, so he had plenty of practice repairing vehicles growing up. He got even deeper into cars after learning to drive, worked on some of his friends' vehicles, and began gaining a reputation as a self-taught hot rodder and mechanic. The first car he customized was a Jeep Cherokee at 16 years old, but he loves the Ford F100 series of pickup trucks. Keep that truck in mind. Kaufman's favorite vehicle keeps showing up. After fixing things for his family and friends, he got hired at places like Pep Boys and other small garages. Kaufman was working at one of these smaller places when Richard Rawlings, yes, the Richard Rawlings, noticed his skills and made him a mechanic at his hot rod haven, Gas Monkey Garage. Kaufman was hired at Gas Monkey Garage when he was 20 years old. From there, it was easy for Kaufman to make it into the world of television on Rawlings' show Fast and Loud. If you've been watching this channel, you already know about Fast and Loud. Fast and Loud premiered in 2012 on the Discovery Channel. The show featured Rawlings buying, renovating, and reselling cars that other people saw as junk. Kaufman was one of the mechanics in Gas Monkey Garage and got his fair share of screen time. If you saw the show, you remember Kaufman's magnificent beard and his talent for repairing cars. His knack for repairing things did not stop at Fast and Loud. He also did some mechanical work for another show, Biker Build-Off. Between Fast and Loud and Biker Build-Off, Aaron Kaufman had everything he needed to eventually make his own repair business. But hold that thought, we aren't quite done with Fast and Loud. Aaron Kaufman left Fast and Loud in February 2017. As we've covered in other videos on this channel, Fast and Loud has had its share of people leaving for various reasons. But what really happened between Rawlings and Kaufman? The answer probably isn't what you think it will be. While Kaufman did say that he and Richard had both arguments and creative differences, the main issue wasn't with Rawlings himself. In an interview with Art of Gears, Kaufman said, I wanted to build cars that were big or bigger, and then TV needed cars that were much smaller than that. He also felt stressed by the pacing of Fast and Loud, sometimes needing to put in 110 hours of overtime to get a job done on time. A while and we've been building cars we've been really busy there's definitely some a different direction i want to go and and here i just can't i can't do both and because we build so much we build so fast it absorbs every second of my time so i really i really think that it's it's time rawlings had a different creative vision and work style from kaufman the requirements for the show were what drove them apart with only so much time and space to repair something kaufman could not work on the cars that he was passionate about he had worked at Gas Monkey Garage for 14 years and made it clear that his issue was not with Rawlings as a person. The requirements would have been a blend of what Rawlings wanted to do and what the network wanted to see. Rawlings and Kaufman are still on good terms, but whether they are friends or not depends on who you ask. If you need more proof of this, look at Aaron Kaufman's show, Shifting Gears. The show aired in 2018 and was supposed to have three seasons. The show featured cars, trucks, and other vehicles that Kaufman himself wanted to work on, and showed the process from start to finish. He would also test drive the cars to make sure everything worked. It was clear from the start that shifting gears was Kaufman's show. He liked bigger trucks like the Ford F100 series, and had a few other projects in mind. He wanted to go bigger, so he made a show that wasn't limited by the space of a TV studio or garage, and had a more generous timetable. With more creative control, he was free to work on motorcycles, tractors, and his favorite Ford F100 pickups, which were too big for fast and loud. Shifting Gears was filmed alongside the opening of Kaufman's new business, Arc Light Fabrication. Arc Light Fabrication specializes in parts for Ford F100s, 
which are otherwise hard to find on the market. Many of the models, such as the 57, are no longer being made. AF specializes in parts for the 57 to 79 models. The shop has a booming presence on Instagram, so if you want to see what Aaron Kaufman is up to, check that out. And if you want to stop by, the shop is based in Dallas, Texas. Kaufman also made a smaller show titled, Aaron Needs a Job. This show is all about Kaufman doing work that he did not have experience with, like service work, fixing a tram car, and working on a cargo ship. This venture also let Kaufman rekindle a few childhood dreams like being a park ranger and flying in a fighter jet. Hit it! I'm Aaron Kaufman, and I need a job. Dum dum dum. It aired in 2019 and only lasted one season. He also appeared in a movie called Jim Connor 10 Tire Slaying Tour, a drift montage video that compiles some of Ken Block's wildest drifts from around the world. Unlike many of the shows we talk about, however, Shifting Gears was cancelled, and it's not clear how or why. The third season was supposed to air in September of 2020. Some sources say that Discovery Channel cancelled it, but it may have been a combination of channel concerns and Kaufman's own reluctance to return to television. Shifting Gears got mediocre reviews, making poor reception a possible reason for Discovery Channel cancelling Season 3. But Kaufman's reasons are more important than ratings. The car mechanic said that television strained his relationships. The pressure of running his own business and making a TV show ate up a lot of time and energy. He wanted to spend more time with his wife and dog in particular. It was probably a good decision to cancel the show. The last episode of Shifting Gear Season 2 aired on March 26, 2019. Ultimately, the show probably wasn't worth it for Kaufman and the network might have had issues with the show too. While we don't know the one thing that got Shifting Gears cancelled, we know some things that might have led to that. If you liked watching Aaron Kaufman on TV, don't worry, he still pops up on YouTube collaborations and interviews from time to time. He also participates in races. This year he did the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, aka the Race to the Clouds, for the event's 100th anniversary. Watch the two-minute interview on YouTube if you have the time. And of course, you can follow his Instagram to see what he's doing at Arclight Fabrications. Even though he doesn't have his show and doesn't like the pressure of being on TV, he still does plenty of work and even makes cameos. So that's what happened with Aaron Kaufman and Shifting Gears. Kaufman is passionate about cars and keeps trying new things. He's always willing to go that extra mile and create in uncharted waters. But what about you? Have you ever done something that made you push your limits? How did you feel afterward? Was it worth a try or did you realize that you'd hit your peak? Let us know in the comments below and don't be a crusthead. Like, comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on our next crusty video. We'll see you next time.